when I finished assembling my Collect and Connect Killer Croc from Mattel, I decided I just wanted to show off all my Killer Crocs instead of just reviewing him. Because I do things abnormally on this channel. I'm not just going to do review of Killer Croc. What do you think, I'm stupid? No, I'm going to show all my Killer Crocs because this is what I feel like doing. I'm kind of more of a toy talker instead of a toy reviewer. Uh, so I have five Killer Crocs. Um, this just kind of happened. Um, I got one at the thrift store. That's a thrift store killer croc. Um, I got this in my comic shop, uh, and then I just built him mostly from Walmart and then eBay for Alfred. And then I got him in my comic shop, and I, I think I got him from Amazon, maybe, uh, when they re-released him. Man, killer croc is really cool. Really great character, honestly. I really love croc. Uh, I feel like he's just been done dirty in some iterations. I really don't like Suicide Squad's Killer Croc. I don't like his look. I don't like his characterization. It just missed the mark. That's not Killer Croc, man. That's just lizard dude that likes watching BET. I just, like, what other character does he have besides that? Anyways, let's start talking about Killer Croc toys instead of Killer Croc characters. So this is the Mattel DC Superheroes Killer Croc. Pretty decent figure, man. Uh, if you want a smaller scaled Killer Croc in your 6-inch Batman collection, this is probably the way to go. He has a hole in his butt. Maybe for a tail, an optional tail they might have done later down the road. Uh, he's got a very nice scaly back. He did come with one accessory, like a crushed pipe or something. I mean, going all STCC Hulk, like with a crushed pipe. I don't know, pretty lame accessory. It's in, I think it actually showed up in my Batman Plastic Purgatory, if you want to watch that. Um... But yeah, uh, it's really nicely sculpted, man. Even though I got the Collecting Connect, I don't want to get rid of this, because it's a really nice croc. Um, I love the sculpt. It just looks really cool. Definitely doesn't have more of a snout. It's more of like a flat-faced killer croc. Articulation's really lacking, though. He only has a swivel at the head, swivel at the waist, ball hinges at the shoulders, and only go out about that far, uh, and then swivels at the wrists, swivels at the hips, hinges at the, at the ankles, and there you go. Pretty limited articulation. When did this guy come out? Does he have Does he have the date on him? Two, no, he doesn't. Oh, why, do, why don't they have dates on him, man? It's irritating. Uh. Anyways, it's my first croc. Well, not the first one I got. I think the first one I got was Asylum. Either that or Origins. Uh, so there is that croc. And then next up, let's talk about this Mattel croc. Um, do you have a date on you, maybe, perhaps, possibly? Hmm, I don't know. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, is that... Oh, that's that's the same bottom hat. This this is the same figure, isn't it? Oh my gosh, I never noticed that. Look at that. I never noticed. I've had both these guys for so long, and I never noticed. Look, I was just talking about the tail. Boom, there you go. That's the tail. Look, these are the exact same figure, besides the head sculpts, and uh, this one has a coat on him that's very worn out because they got it at the thrift store. Never noticed. Oh my gosh, until literally just now. So yeah, exact same figure, just different deco and different head. That's nuts. Okay. Anyways, let's talk about this croc. I got him at the thrift store. Um, he has a moving jaw. He definitely has the more snouty killer croc look. If you prefer that, this is going to be the croc you want to get. Um, me personally, this, this looks like the lizard from Marvel to me because he has the snout. Um, it just doesn't look like killer croc, especially since he has a tail too. The snout plus tail equals this is the lizard, not Killer Croc. Um, but still, cool figure. I like having it. When I got it at the thrift store, I'm like, hey, actual legitimate edition of my collection. I like it. So there's uh, there's Killer Croc here. Pretty neat thing. Sounds like he might have had a mechanism for his jaw. Did he? I don't think so. Um, but yeah, there's that Croc. Let's move on to Arkham Asylum Croc. Because this one is interesting. So, <clears throat> Arkham Asylum, Arkham City, two of my favorite video games of all time. Arkham City, my absolute favorite video game of all time. Uh, this is a really good figure, man. Uh, you can remove this piece right here. You can remove this shock collar to make him an Arkham City croc, which I really appreciate if you want to make him the city look. Or he's like, I smell death on you. You know, you can do that if you want. Um, how many people even saw the Killer Croc cameo in Arkham City? You have to go the wrong way to see it. It's hilarious. But anyways, very fragile figure. Very beautiful, but very fragile. Because they made his shoulders, ooh, out of clear plastic. Um, his shoulders on mine actually moved decently because I boiled this guy. I boiled him before I moved him. But his elbow joints are so tight, they are never being moved ever again. Um, 
So for articulation on this one, we'll talk about details. It has a ball joint at the head. It doesn't really give you too much. Jaw articulation, which is nice. Uh, uh, shoulders, uh, biceps, hinges very tight at the elbows. Never move those ever. Um, he has ball joints at the wrists there. He has a swivel at the waist, I believe. And then he has ball joints at the hips. Hinges at the knees, I'm not going to move. Uh, and then he has ball joints at the feet, which I wish he didn't have because that makes him a little difficult to stand sometimes because sometimes he just wants to lean forward. And I saw a review from, uh, oh, was it J Train 997 Shout out to him uh, where his croc fell and one of the uh, teeth chipped off. So that's great. Um, but yeah, beautiful, beautiful croc. Probably the nicest looking one. This thing is amazing. I love the design of Asylum Croc, for sure. Uh, really great design. They reused it in Injustice, didn't they? That's interesting. So yeah, if you want that to be your Injustice Croc, too, you can do that. Um, so let's move on to Arkham Origins Croc. Because this guy is the same size, right? This was like a four, that was a $40 deluxe figure from DC Collectibles. And this, they priced it as a normal $20 figure. Keep in mind, these are like six inches tall. So we're talking like, we're talking like a nine, 10 inch, I wanna say a 10 inch figure for 20 bucks. Very heavy, very articulated. I'm not as big of a fan of his origins design, something about him. Remember, remember during the end of the game, he's like, won't the Joker take him? It's like, uh, okay. Then he was all slobbering, and he's like, um, yeah, but, I don't know. I just wasn't too big of a fan of it. Um, he also had lips. I never, I never think of Killer Croc having lips, ever. Um, but you can see his, his teeth are coming in. He's going to mutate further, and he's going to lose those lips. Um, so his articulation, he's got some stuff going on, some stuff and things. Uh, I'm not as afraid to move this guy, but still, it's a DC Collectibles figure. You're always afraid of these things. Um, but he's got range, man. He's got motion. He's got an ab crunch where you can get a little bit of crunch. He's got those kind of DCUC style hips. But look at how hollow those are. You can see right through them. That's interesting. Um, but yeah, they move out too. But I don't feel like doing it because I'm scared. You have knees. Then you also have, I think, ankle pivoted ankles. Yeah. Really good croc. If you really like this design of killer... Ooh, uh, uh. If you really like this design of killer croc, this is certainly not a wrong way to go. Um, now, there's definitely other Killer Croc figures out there. Um, there's that one, Secret Files Croc. That's a really cool-looking one. Um, there is, of course, the Suicide Squad Killer Croc figures you can always go for, which I'm not a fan of. Uh, there's You always have options. These are just the ones I have. This is definitely not going to be a Killer Croc, every Killer Croc ever. Don't expect that video. I don't buy everything. But let's finally talk about the new Collect and Connect Killer Croc and why he's my favorite. Um, so, as you saw, he is the same size as the DC Collectibles ones. Not nearly as heavy, um, because he's, you know, a Mattel Build-A-Figure. What do you expect? Uh, this is this is Mattel's last Collect and Connect for Multiverse, for DCUC. It's kind of crazy. This is the last one. Um, but, man, we've really needed a croc, because that's been our DCUC croc for a very long time. Uh, love it. Love, 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 love it. Uh, I wish he had a little bit of tan on his belly, but honestly, I don't really need it too much. Um, the sculpt is amazing. I believe the Four Horsemen did this, and you can really tell. Uh, if, you, if you're familiar with Mythic Legions and the Four Horsemen's work, you see this and you're like, yep, that's a Four Horsemen figure. Uh, looks really amazing. That head sculpt, that is Killer Croc. Now, when I saw this guy originally at uh, SDCC, my first thought was, this is the exact Killer Croc figure that I've always been waiting for. And I got him in hand, and I gotta say, man, it's exactly right. Uh, <laughs> this is the Croc I've been waiting for. Because look, I'm not afraid to move his shoulders. Woohoo! I'm not afraid to bend his elbows. I'm not afraid to move him. I'm not afraid to go, ma 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 Like, he's so poseable and fun, even though his knees are very tight. And you can actually see, as I'm bending the knee, the seam... For the plastic, look at that. The seam is actually splitting a little bit as I bend the knee. Isn't that crazy? Um, but yeah, other than that, I'm not afraid to pose him at all. He He's really great. Um, really fun figure. Giant hands. He is a retool, I must note, of King Shark. Uh, I believe from the waist down, he is identical to King Shark. 
which I have no problem with. Works great. It's kind of like Titans Return Sky Shadow and Overlord. Like, the mold was made for Overlord, but they released Sky Shadow first. Uh, it's like this was made for Killer Croc, and they released King Shark first, in my opinion. Um, looking at this a little closer, you can see the paint. It's made out of a green plastic, right? But you can especially see on the shoulders, they dry brushed this lighter green all over him. And it looks so good. The scales are so nicely sculpted. Um, he has little holes in his pants. Uh, those are pretty nice. Even though I wish the jeans had more distinct tear marks. I wish those were... I wish the jeans had more distinct tear marks. I wish those were a little more obvious. Like if they added some paint highlight to it. They didn't on the older one either, so it's no biggie. What can I say, man? It's just a beautiful croc. I love it. It's my favorite, okay? Leave me alone. Uh, articulation on this guy. He's got a ball hinge at the head. You can move it down really nice, move it up. I know the lighting's not perfect, but he looks even nicer in this kind of shadowed lighting. Just looks really cool. Uh, he also kind of has, you know, just a swivel going on. He also does have jaw articulation, which is just a hinge. And even looking in his mouth, his tongue is painted so nicely. Look at that. In the inside, it's not as pretty because you have the hinge in there. But yeah, it looks really great. Definitely the best jaw on a croc. And one cool thing too, if you want to move it up since his head's kind of softer, it's almost like he's sniffing, like he's going... <laughs> I can't really sniff right now because I'm still recovering from uh, a little bit of allergies. So, shoulders, you don't have to worry about him. Biceps, you don't have to worry about him breaking. Look at that, he's got elbows. Suck it. Uh, hinges at the hands there. It's really good ab crunch. Look at that. That is really nice. Uh, swivel. Yeah, swivel, and then hinge outward, kind of DCUC style, a little ugly, but whatever. At least it works. Um, swivel, you already saw the knee joint. And unfortunately, the only real complaint I have with this figure, hinge at the ankle, but no real pivot. No real pivot. It just doesn't, I mean, it swivels, but it doesn't have a pivot. I don't know what they were thinking. Those legs were from 2016. Ankle pivots were already kind of like a normal thing. I don't know why they just didn't retool it or I don't know man I'm just not a fan of the fact that there's no ankle pivot one thing I'm curious about can you take the shock collar from asylum there we go hey that looks odd eh not really into that um it doesn't really want to fit uh no no that's a negative man yeah, that's that's a shame I was actually really expecting that to work so there we go there is my killer croc collection there is my pretty much review of the new Collect and Connect. I love Croc. He's not one of my favorite Batman villains, but he's probably like number six. If I had to, if I had to rank him like my top five, Croc is probably six. Um, he's just really cool. I really like him. Uh, I collect Lego Batman stuff casually too. I still need to get a Killer Croc. I want to get the classic minifig though, not one of the big figs. Anyways, there we go. There's my Killer Crocs. I'm going to stop talking. Uh, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Check out my social media links down in the description below. As well as my P.O. Box address. Have a good day, guys. See you in the next one. TikTok, feed the croc. I don't know. Just don't, just don't be deceiving little boys with seal limbs into thinking you're a good guy. Because that's, that's really mean, man. Don't do that.